Hey guys! So today is going to be my September favorites. I tweeted you earlier asking if it was too late to film this and you guys were like, no! So, we are on! Really quickly before I jump into this video, I am going to be having another meet and greet next Saturday, October 12th. It's going to be held at Nordstrom International Plaza in Tampa, Florida from 1 to 3 p.m. It is the launch of Topshop at Nordstrom. If you don't know what Topshop is, it is an awesome clothing brand. I absolutely love it. They're one of my favorite lines. And Nordstrom is so kind. They're going to be having me there from 1 to 3 to hang out with you guys and take pictures. So if you guys are from Florida and you want to hang out with me, then I'll be there from 1 to 3. And I'm so excited. Okay. Enjoy the video. So I actually don't have that many products this month, which is kind of refreshing because my video won't be an hour and a half like my other favorites. So the first thing is It's A10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. I just got this like a week ago and I love it. I've only used it once or twice because I don't wash my hair that much because I'm super dry. The smell of it, oh my gosh, it seriously smells like MAC Turquatic perfume. It's so refreshing. I want to use it as a perfume. Oh heaven sent. I absolutely love this. You think I'm weird, right? I could have told you that in my first video. So when it sprays out, it sprays in like one perfect stream. I absolutely love it. I spray it on my damp hair and then I go ahead and blow dry my hair just like it says, Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. It's not really disgusting or sticky in your hair, which I actually don't mind on um, like root lifters that are kind of sticky because I don't mind the texture in my hair. It's just me. I just love this. It gives your hair a lot of volume. That's what I have in my hair right now. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking if I've been wearing extensions recently because you think that my hair has been looking fuller and longer. It is not extensions, but I will be trying extensions soon. I actually just got some and they're sitting at home waiting to be dyed. So I will be trying out extensions for the first time very soon. My next product, I'm actually really proud of myself because I've never tried anything from this line before and it was not a recommendation to me and I just saw it when I was in the drugstore and I thought that looks really pretty. It's by Physicians Formula and it is the powder palette mineral glow pearls in shade light bronze pearl so this is what i'm wearing right now on my cheekbones as a highlight i absolutely love it it is so pretty it has like the um, perfect amount of every highlight shade in it it has like a little bit of silver neutral a little bit of bronze so i'll put it on the back of my hand for you if you can see it right there is that showing up on camera? Yeah, that's showing up, right? You can see it. A lot of inexpensive highlights. They go on choppy and glittery and chunky. This one doesn't. It goes on nice and smooth. I was really surprised by how much I actually loved it when I got it. So thumbs up Physicians Formula. Next is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I have mentioned this a couple times in my videos, but seriously, I am so in love with this. It's the original formula. I think I just said that. Mine is in shade light, and I actually use this just to set my T-zone. I might have actually mentioned this in a favorites video a month or two ago. I'm not positive, but I use it every single time I do my makeup. It's a loose powder, and it has a luminosity to it, and so when you apply it, it has this nice like shimmer to it where it's not completely dull and matte but yeah it's not like actual glitter it just it's really pretty I have it right now on all my forehead and my t-zone area my chin this whole situation because even though I am dry I still need something to set that area so that it doesn't move around because I make a lot of facial expressions this is a super basic product. I actually think I don't take the time to appreciate really basic items like this. And this is just a mascara from the drugstore. It is the L'Oreal Full Definition Voluminous Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It has been like my ride or die for the past six months. It's just got such a nice, fluffy, basic brush head. It makes your lashes so thick and like the right ways. It does not get clumpy. I can seriously put six coats of this stuff on. My lashes don't get clumpy. It really just makes them nice and full because I do have longer lashes, but they're so spider skinny. It's insane. So I have been loving this. I actually have not been wearing false lashes, false lashes much recently because I've been embracing them with this mascara. Now I am wearing them today so <laughs> I know I'm sorry next I have a few lip products the first ones are these L'Oreal color riche Le lac and Le matte so they just look like this I saw an advertisement for them like over a month ago and it has taken me forever to track them down so I really do love them this one is my absolute favorite it's this purple tone I think it is so pretty you can see how rich it is I have been mixing this with like all of my nude pink lip colors for that perfect mid-tone shade I absolutely love it and then this one is the Le matte and this one is more of a straight coral shade and obviously matte. The purple one I love because it looks like a gloss almost on the lips. It has such a beautiful shimmer in it. I want to get every color, but the place that I actually found them at only had those two. So I was like, okay, it's better than nothing. 
This I actually have mentioned before, I believe this is Baby Doll. This is a Chroma Joystick by the Kardashians. I have been obsessed with this shade. It's this beautiful, just everyday pink color. It's like such a gorgeous nude and I actually have been mixing it with this purple shade by L'Oreal so you can see the color that that makes. I really, really like that toned down Baby Doll purpley pink. So all of these are drugstore items right here, and they have been my absolute favorite all month long. I have been going back and forth, back and forth, mixing these colors right here. I just absolutely love them. So I'll take like the Kardashian one and put it all over my lips, and then I'll take the purple one and just put it in the center for kind of like an ombre pop of color. It's really beautiful. This is much more of a high-end color, but I'm sorry, I have to mention it. This is the YSL lipstick in the shade 1. It's the Rouge Volupt. I have been obsessed with this. It's very similar to like Cream Cut by MAC or Native by Urban Decay. It is a beautiful, basic, creamy, everyday pink. It is so amazing. I purchased my first YSL lipstick in my entire life, I think about six or seven months ago, and now it's so hard not to want everything, even though they're expensive. They are so luxurious, and the packaging, honestly, like, there's no prettier packaging than that packaging when it comes to lipstick. I'm sorry, it's the truth. <laughs> Don't hate me. Another really basic product, and I think I'm mentioning all these basic products because I am in Chicago with my family right now, so I'm not out purchasing new things, and I don't have my entire collection with me, so I'm using things I brought, and I'm really learning to appreciate the things I have. So this is the Sigma Small Angled E65 brush. I know at my meet and greet, a lot of people were coming in asking me what brush to use for eyeliner because I want to purchase it today, and it is the E65. It just makes putting on that eyeliner so easy. If you are a gel liner wearer, I do really recommend the E65. Um, I think it might technically be a brow brush but that does not matter to me because a lot of times brow brushes are shorter and more dense and eyeliner brushes are longer which makes no sense to me because that makes it harder to control the longer the bristles are so I have just been really loving this for just a nice precise angle wing I just I love it so e65 amazeballs shout out to benefit because I'm going to mention two products number one is a another basic but it is the hula bronzer you can see that I'm not lying I've been loving it is my favorite bronzer right now just because since we are going into the winter months it doesn't have too much orange in it or too much brown it's the perfect neutral it has the perfect amount of red and golden undertones it's just nice and natural on the skin and I think it's the most universal bronzer for all skin tones also it doesn't have any sparkle in it so you can use it as a bronzer on the cheeks or contour I just absolutely love this color I think it's perfect you can wear it if you're super pale or if you're a little bit more on the tan side so I've been loving this also by Benefit is the newer blush. This is the Rockateur. It is a rose gold blush. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now along with that highlighter. I absolutely love the shade. I was so hyped for this to come out. I couldn't wait. And it definitely did not let me down other than I will say it is not super easy to blend. If you have a hard time blending your blush, then you're probably not going to like this one because it's not a blush that you can just throw on and blend out. Like MAC, I feel like their blushes are super, super easy to work with. It's like they're not choppy. This one, if you're in a rush, it's probably going to look choppy. You really have to blend it out and make sure it's perfect. But once you get it, the color is just absolutely amazing. There's some days I put it on and I have no issue with it. But then like today when I was putting it on, I was like, okay, this is like really choppy all over my face. So it kind of goes back and forth. Two more products and this is a big one for me. This has been my obsession for foundation recently and I know it is high end, but I'm sorry, I love it. And for you guys who really believe that skin is the most important thing on your face as far as makeup is concerned, like I do, then I don't mind spending a lot of money on foundation and then going cheaper with things like the lips and the eyes. Um, this is the Giorgio Armani Illuminous Silk Foundation. I absolutely love it. I am in shade 5.75. Oh my gosh, I have nothing bad to say about this foundation. It does everything I want. It doesn't make me look too hydrated where I'm greasy, but it's not matte. It's like a perfect, natural, beautiful finish. It lasts so long. It's, it hasn't settled in my, my little fine lines that I have, which yes, I have them. We all have them. It's okay. It is just so pretty. I absolutely love this foundation. It has not let me down. I use it every single day with my Sigma F80. Hello, I didn't even need to say that. You guys know I use it with my Sigma F80. I just love it. I love the packaging too. Yes, mine is psychotically dirty because my nephew got into it. Look how dirty that is. <gasps> Last but not least is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I'm going to get it on my palette so I can actually show you it individually. This is called Chickadee, and I know that the color is a little bit scary, but I have been obsessed with this color. I'm wearing it right now on my top lid and my bottom lid. Bottom lid? Under eye. <laughs> on my under eye. 
Chickadee, I absolutely love this. It's like a yellowy orange. I don't think the camera's really picking it up. It's a little bit more orangey and a little bit darker than the camera's making it look. Um, I absolutely love it. I've been using this as a transition shade in my crease a lot recently for the fall. It's just really pretty. It just gives you a nice warm glow. It's not super insanely pigmented. It's just perfect. This is what it looks like on the skin. I know, once again, it looks a little bit like barf, but I'm just drawn to those shades. What can I say? So that is it for my September favorites. I really hope you guys enjoy. Just a reminder, I am still out of town on vacation. I will be returning home next Sunday, the 13th of October. So once I get home, my makeup tutorials will resume as normal. I'm sorry that I haven't been doing any. It's just basically impossible here since I don't have my setup with everything. But I have a whole long list of all different makeup tutorials that I will be doing for you. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. And all the information will be in my description bar about all the products I mentioned, my hair, what I'm wearing, my makeup, discount codes, everything. So don't forget to check down there. And I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye! Ow. Sometimes I just don't know about myself. I get concerned. Okay, I need to chill out. Is it 5 o'clock yet? <coughs> mm -hmm. Look! You have it! Ooh, your butt is like hot. Poop. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. For following really? Aunt Jacqueline. Yucky. I love you. Oh. Bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs>